33 minutes left. I'm bombing right for FOC oh my. in return. Danger Slap close. Back. Danger Sorry. close. Get oh. down. Get down. Oh. The, the lock is still up. Oh my gosh. Artie just fell too. FOC Good said it. By FOC. You can do a bomb and roll this. return. The favor. Lux is still up, though. So that Lux through this whole game. So it's the little Lux so that could. Down. The yes, little sir. Lux that could. Do, 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 do. Down he goes. And no, he Lux goes down, but he down. held for as long Man, as he could. Man, that was a close moment. This is this is this is what I'm talking about. Moment. Moment. Two. Taken out as well. Look at this. Stewart pushing up. Right on the tiger's ass. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Incredible. <laughs> Takes him out! Oh my god! Takes him out! Oh my god! What? Got uh, a squad leader here. Heavenly. He found. He must have found the garrison. Dr. Spetz, can he get him? No, sir! Getting. He's gonna get to that garrison on that backhand side. Can get the garrison. Here's the real question Diesel, the sniper. Covering on a pro. Still pushing though. Still a, pushing. Yes, a Lux is pushing in for Esprit, providing support in addition to the Tiger. That is further. It doesn't actually a Tiger real close. Look at this. This Tiger trying to get an angle on it here. Right here, the Tiger in play here on the southwest side. They bomb and run. They're not going to capitalize, but certainly going to make them sweat. Big he infantry push. Big They're infantry push for Esprit. 33 minutes left. I'm bombing run right for FOC oh my. in return. Danger Slap close. Back. Danger Sorry. close. Get oh. down. Get down. Oh. The, the lock is still up. Oh my gosh. Artie just fell too. FOC Good response setting. by FOC. You can do a bomb and roll. will return the favor. Lux is still up though. That Lux through this whole game. So it's the little Lux that so could. Down. The yes, little sir. Lux that could. <laughs> Down he goes! On the thinnest of margins right now. And the real question is, do they get a spawn wave? Down he goes. Was it enough, though? Was it, is it enough space? 30 seconds is the goal. They know. Broken Arrow knows that it is there. There it is. Yes, Full commit. Wave Full commit. ICF. They're going to have to This is it. This is the play from ICF. Are they going to be able to pull it out, though? I hear a bombing run. I hear a bombing run. Boom, it goes! Oh. It's gonna get it all! Broken arrow it's gonna get it all! It. Broken arrow gets it all! What a bombing run! That was everything! That was it! That was it! That was a play game right there! That and was a Stewart on the together. point for ICF! Oh, I don't know if you can. Oh, bounce off the top! Down oh, the oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Here's the push. Are the Tigers gonna push in right? That's the question right now. Oh, he's about to become visible, but he, they just shot. Can they push fast enough to not get hit by this? Does he have infantry? By the tiger? No infantry. No infantry. No infantry. He is surrounded. He is surrounded. But man, whoever is covering straight, him is doing well. Look at this push at across the, the river. The push. Center push. This is what we're talking about. If that he stays alive for, for 30 more Freezing seconds, that's all he's got to do. Satchel. That's allowed. That's allowed. Oh, he knows. He knows. He's responding. That's on. That 76 cannot push back. He's trying to push back. He needs to. I mean, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He's got to know. Something's bad. Bad is about to happen to him. They have an AT gun out here. Oh, it was. There was an AT gun. That AT gun is down now. I bet. Look at this. I bet that was it. Cold train. Oh, cold train coming up behind. Found the Gary. Chimera trying to get on it. He's got it. He's going for an OP burn. No, there they identified more guys coming up the center for FOC, and they have pushed up. They think it's Artie. He's at around me. He knows. He knows. But he's right back. <laughs> Excel! Oh, Excel! That's hard. That's hard. Could have happened to anybody. I mean, that guy. This guy. The, the wow. streets. He's holding, it down. holding it down. He's got his fury moments. This man owns the streets right now, it appears. Does he get any Let's support? No. no. There's one man He's down. Up. He's holding shit down. He uh, finally goes down. And Kai okay. got it. Oh, and here's the critical. Hurting. Here's the critical part of what just happened. They just lost the repair station. And the armor! Oh my gosh! Oh my what a gosh, shot! 
Kirby. And now, Holy and now this tiger is in critical AG, shape. Where'd, he's that, getting, where'd that shot come from? He's getting hit by the 76. I think he's just barely getting hit. He, down he goes. Oh, down he goes. Down he goes. Okay, this is what we're talking about. And a precision to add Man, on it a little they, bit too late. Look, Wait, gonna happen. OPs are gone. Compton taking out the OPs at the building. He has retaken control of the building with just three and a half minutes left. Big spawn way up off of the garrison. I just once you got that building, it is just nearly impossible. Well, it is, but it ain't over. That center push may come from First Marine Raiders. It may I hope come. so. I hope so. I you know. AT, oh, AT rocket hit right. I just saw a leg. Guys pushing, no one else on the point, could not get there in time. And now we're right back to where we were. And uh, Lux is down. I mean, just, guys, yeah. dang. They're yes. going to have to continue to grind. I mean, this, this... boom. Ar They're Arnie's laying killed. it down. I mean, you do not want to be Esprit on the attack right now. Oh my gosh. Just body parts flying. You know, and what you want to do with Artie sometimes, Art Lane, is the perfect. Oh, oh my God. There he goes again. That's exactly what I said. Oh, right my there. God. <laughs> Terrain and I believe they've got that bridge zoned in. Stop. They have it pinged. They're getting rounds out as quick as possible. Gosh, someone AT. please play oh, Sunday Bloody Sunday. I mean, my gosh. <laughs> uh, I just, you know what I want to see? I want to see either an foc guy make it across this bridge or just like rufus's dog up in the center i mean joe goes, u.s ranger and Barzo. just fell look at this another push across the river oh they my made, god oh. there oh goes my the god and look at this in the chat just want to shout out u.s ranger we are suffering for you twitch hey man <laughs> hey I mean, <laughs> those guys they are playing one of the most important roles, and that's just getting thrown into the fray. You've yeah, got to I mean, commit I mean, to it. Into the do blender. It. That's a shot on the medium. Down it goes for FOC. Oh, oh my god, and look at this in the chat. I just want to shout out US Ranger. We are suffering for you, Twitch. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, I mean, <laughs> those guys, they are playing one of the most important roles, and that's just getting thrown into the fray. You've yeah, got to I mean, commit I mean, to it. Into the do blender. It. That's a shot on the medium. Down it goes for FOC. Medium down! All they got left now is the 76. Mm -hmm. Right here, 76. Up here, he's pushing now to the east side. Hey, oh! Him. Gotta get some AT on got that. Got him, man, he missed that uh, AT shot. Just, just barely. Barely. And look at this. But oh, down goes the great Down out. goes AT to the right somewhere. Who was that? Zoom in on that guy, Sheep, real quick. Who was that? Be right. And fat what a egg shot. now pushing it what, absolutely. What and now it looks like ICF getting back in. They have taken back cap pressure. But here we go. We got to go back to dugout. But here's what's Red happening. Line. Red, Red line, Gary. line Garrison. And, and get that pressure. And, and maybe that's the play too, right? Yeah. And Chris, JT, and the boys are still at uh, There's OB. Chris. We love Chris. Chris. Hey, Chris. Shout out. Shout Make out it to across, Chris from Chris the P. 75th OP there. I mean, oh, here we go. God, dang! Oh, go down Chris and Chris. I'm waiting until that already comes in, and right? Down oh, goes. Down I mean, goes. they are just... It's hard to make it. They are hard just cannon fodder. But, I mean, but that's what you got to do, I think, if you're you gotta a screen. You got to keep the pressure. You got to keep the pressure. That's a precision. Incoming, incoming, incoming. Trying to identify where this comes in, Seth. Just a body. No, you know, they talked about their, their slow to start, so they never win more than three to two. Look at that tank! We may see Puma. something different. Unbelievable AT shot. That must have been at least 200 meters away. Another one! Down Inbound. He what a Down crazy he goes. AT shot That's a ICF. sniper. Man, that's a sniper Incredible shot. Incredible right shot. And I build it gets one. Down he goes! These gunfights are everything. They're everything. Lionheart's got to take him out. He got some! Get on the point! Did he go Get down? The garrison! I just lost Lionheart. He's down. He's down. There's no Are one they on the point. Are they going to push the Gary? Do they know the Gary's there? I don't know, but they're not pushing it. They, they're, they're not gonna pushing it. They're going to redline it here in a minute. History they Builder get a just spawned on his own MG, page. they're watching it. They're watching the Gary with it. No? He's, what is this guy MG doing? pushing. He's seen that. Maybe. I don't know. Are they waiting uh, for a strike? They're waiting for a spawn. What are the resources at right now? Bombing runs are going to be vital. Tons Scraping of munitions. 
That's a bombing there run. That's there a bombing is. run for ICF. Does he take out the garrison? It does not. What? No, the garrison, garrison is still remains. Up. Remains, and the MG went down for ICF right there. But takes him out. And the 76, they have identified the it position on the 76. The They're commander has marked it. Taking out supplies too. Oh, yeah. down he goes. No, he's gone. He's gone. The Greyhound maintaining coverage, keeping Good infantry off. off the 76's back. Right but they have identified the position on that tank, and only time will tell. There may be a precision. Can I get there in time? Can he get it? He's moving. Oh, he's moving. He God, goes. He goes. He goes. Precision he goes. takes out the 76. That, that precision strike. I mean, that has to hurt. That's almost like you're. Uh, oh. But he gets down as well. Taken out as well. Look at this. Stewart pushing up. Right on the tiger's ass. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> Incredible. Takes him out. Oh my god. Takes him out. Oh my gosh. What? Stewart. The Stewart's Stewart. Stewart just gone. took out the tiger. I take back Sheep. everything that I said. Everything that I said. I see I'm taking out the tiger. Oh, oh my, my gosh. God. Broken arrow. If you're white. What is that right now? Bombing runs are going to be vital. Tons Scraping of munitions. Runs. That's a bombing there run. That's there a bombing is. run for ICF. Does he take out the garrison? It does not. What? No, the garrison, garrison is still remains. Up. Remains, and the MG went down for ICF right there. But there's still a squad leader left. Did not get the garrison. That was their chance, man. And it's just the positioning of the garrison. It just, it just saved them. It saved them the idea. I'm run, man. Not gonna capitalize, but certainly going to make them sweat. Big he infantry push. Big they're infantry push for his free. 33 minutes left. I'm bombing run left. for FOC oh my. in return. Danger close. Danger. And we are live. HCA Week 1 quarterfinals. I'm Sheepdog, and with me right now is my good friend from SBSR, Seagull. Seagull, first time on the Dog's Den. Seagull, thank you so much for joining me, that my dude. Well, thank you for having me, my man. Absolutely. So, we got a little bit of a banger for you. And actually, let me uh, work on getting my camera up. I apologize. I had the... Uh, I, I thought I was in studio mode. I was not in studio mode. Um, so uh, let me get uh, let me get Seagull's camera up on here. He won't have a nameplate, but that's okay. We'll get to see his beautiful face up in here. Um, so give me one second. Perfect. There we go. I apologize. I know it's this it's the super unprofessional thing, right? Of not having things ready ahead of time. Yeah, it happens. It sure does. Life is the best of us. <laughs> Um, and also to the people who are watching, I apologize ahead of time. It is entirely possible that my voice is uh, goes to crap on this. Uh, I've been dealing with voice issues the last last few days, so uh, so I apologize. There we go. We got beautiful Seagull now up in in the chat. So um, for those who are in the chat, please. Give, give some W's in the chat for Seagull joining for the first time with the dogs then. It's never easy for your first time hopping into the, to, uh, to a stream. So, But he's he's giving it his college try. So, mm. Yeah, so, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Seagull, let's go ahead and jump into this, okay? So, HCA, week one. Um, and um, I'm going ahead. I know you probably don't have access to it, although I will I'll send you. Let's go. I'll send you a link real quick to uh, HCA. So you have a, um, you can see what I'm talking about here. Um, so in the, uh, so the way the HCA works is really interesting because we've been doing APL uh, for a little bit of time here. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. Maybe one second. That's what I get for not popping, popping out. Let me see. Give me one second. Yeah, he's fine. So, um, so. I'm having technical issues. Um, mm -hmm. So, 
Um, so the way that this works, so in HCA, um, it, it's a... Uh, it's kind of the best of the best going up against each other. There's actually two tiers. One of them is the big tier, right? The big big eight teams in the tournament. And you actually have the bottom tier as well. Uh, like, so HCA majors and HCA minors. And uh, um, and uh, the way that that works is, uh, so we have a, uh, a HCA majors match coming up. It is a quarterfinal match between ESPT and IR as well. Um, and so that is going to be on Stalingrad. So this match uh, is going to be... Uh, I'm pulling it up right now. Um, the commentary before the match or commentary after the match? Hey, Dad, I'm on stream. I'm on stream. You're, you're literally in the, the, the stream right now. <laughs> oh. You're good. You're good. You're good. I'm going to mute you, Dad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so... Uh, um, so, uh, the, dude, I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. I am all over the place right now. Um, but, um, so, uh, you know, some of the matches that we have for the quarterfinals for the major bracket, GBI versus Refuse XD, uh, you know, in their, in their first tournament, uh, but definitely a, a big swinging team up against Syndicate. I believe that's actually been a forfeit uh, just because of co uh, timing conflict issues because Syndicate is in the finals versus ESPT. Uh, in a in uh, APL Greyhounds versus WTH, uh, big 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 matchup, and then IR versus ESPT, two of the top maybe five teams in the world, uh, especially given considering that uh, in seasonals, uh, winter seasonals, ESPT made it to the finals against WTH, and then IR made it to the semifinals uh, against WTH as well. So, um, two of the best teams in the world, um, you know, going on to Stalingrad Se Seagull, what are your, what are your first thoughts when, whenever you're thinking, thinking Stalingrad, what, what are the things that pop out to you? Well, Stalingrad's going to be a, it's going to be a grind, especially over that midpoint. Uh, Germany having the high ground, especially tanks, AT gun placements, being able to see all the way down to the, some of the spawns on the Russian side. So lineups, that's going to be, uh. It's gonna be a snap fest. Yeah, especially if the uh, tanks got line of sights like that. Yeah, Marks absolutely. are gonna be critical. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, and when, when you're looking at the map, you know, like obviously, like those midpoints, you know, for the for the for the axis side, obviously the advantage is the is the hill, right? So looking mm -hmm. over carriage depot, looking over that uh, that south point, uh, you know, it gives great tank sniping spots. I mean, just great Overwatch, right? And anytime that you have good Overwatch over a point, it's gonna be absolutely critical and. Um, and based on uh, who's running it too, let me pull it up real quick and make sure that I'm I'm saying it right. So, uh, Axis is going to be ESPT, so they're they're gonna they're gonna yep. have great tanking snipe spots, dude. It's gonna be absolutely phenomenal for them. And uh, you know, an IR is gonna have to fight out of that. Um, you know, I think the most favorable point for them is probably gonna be that north side, a lot of cover on that east side, not a lot of tanking snipes spots for ESPT on that uh, for the Germans on that north side. But at the same time, man, like ESPT is a grind fest. IR is one of the most creative teams out there. You know, I, I think that yeah. people need to not forget that this is the team that broke the record for longest mid cap uh, in comp history at like 35 some odd minutes on a Remagen match against DC where. Um, they literally held off the cap in order to eliminate the airhead whenever it came in. So they went and capped the point when they saw the airhead was in, in play. It's I mean, it, it just this is a creative team, um, not afraid to use uh, unconventional techniques, not afraid to build, build up all sorts of stuff and give give their tanks and their infantry uh, as much advantage as possible. Uh, so IR is such a dangerous team. They're they're clearly one the number one Chinese team going up against. I would argue clearly the number one ESPT team. Although I, I think some would argue and be like, well, Syndicate is definitely in the talks there, and uh, we're gonna be able to see that uh, coming up in APL in the finals. Yep. It's either today or tomorrow. So uh, that's gonna be the kind of the the match to determine whether or not or who who is the top North American team. Uh, but uh, you know, as it stands right now, ESPT is that top North American team. And uh, yep. and they, they got a tough one against IR. So, well, I'm hoping to see IR put AT guns up in these uh, big story houses too. Mm -hmm. I mean that that'll be really creative. Absolutely. Well, and you know, obviously, I don't know if that's been put out. You know, people in the chat can tell me uh, whether or not it has been uh, eliminated, like it's been if, if it's been patched out. But you know, one point at the hotel uh, due west of Goudini's, uh, you could put AT guns up on that hotel. Uh, you still sure can. Yeah, you still can. Well, there you go. I did it. I, I did it like Monday or Tuesday when I played on this map. <laughs> of course you did. Of course you did, dude. 
Um, so that's going to be really, it'll be really interesting to watch. I think AT guns are an absolutely critical part, especially given the fact that, um, you know, I, I would I would say that the the tanks for the the Russians are are a little bit weaker, especially given the the mobi mobility. Although the armor yeah. is great on those on those uh, Russian tanks, so that's you know kind of kind of the flip side. Good armor, but lack of mobility for the IS one. Um, the the light tanks I think are are great. I would put them honestly on par with the Stewie uh, for the Allied side, but at the same time, they yeah, played around. Uh, yeah, and but well, you gotta be Lexus, careful. Cause... You got wheels on them too. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So you got to be you got to be careful not to hit that trench the wrong way or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, dude, hundred percent. Um, so, so it'd be really interesting to see. It'll be really interesting to see. Um, I think that um, you know, uh, obviously, whoever wins this uh, is going to progress into the quarterfinals and uh, between ESPT and IR. Whoever wins this is a single elimination tournament. Uh, very unusual. Um, usually, it's not single elimination, but it, in this case, it is. And uh, um, you know, I uh, whoever wins this will have to play the winners of Greyhounds and WTH. This very well could be ESPT versus WTH all over again. It could be IR versus WTH all over again. But and Greyhounds has just been absolutely dangerous as usual. I think that. Um, I mean, I mean, I think Greyhounds would absolutely love to have a rematch against ESPT. Last time that uh, ESPT and Greyhounds played in a tournament. Uh, was during seasonals and ESPT, I think, surprised a lot of people, shocked a lot of people by beating Greyhounds 3-2 to two, um, in an absolute grind fest and uh, uh, made it to the finals based on that win. Greyhounds had been undefeated in winter seasonals up until that point. So uh, it's going to be absolutely important. We're still waiting for Matt Van, by the way. So we are just chatting, talking, chilling, all that kind of good stuff. So all right, all right. Um, um, obviously, uh, we got a 30-minute delay, so obviously we can't respond in real time. Um, but if you are watching this and uh, you like what we're doing, you like and supporting, obviously it's been a little bit since we've done a stream, uh, 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 done a casting. But if you are watching and uh, you're enjoying the content, enjoying the content, um, uh, a few ways that you could support us. Uh, we don't do we don't do partner, we don't do affiliates because we want it to be as ad free as possible, right? We don't want to interrupt any of the content or anything like that. Feel free hit up our Discord if you want to uh, get updated whenever we go live. Uh, feel free to uh, if you're if you're feeling really generous. Obviously, we don't have subscriptions, but we do have a donation link. So feel free to uh, you know uh, give us a dono. Uh, you know we don't profit any of the money. All the money goes to support. Uh, our our costs for our, our OBS and other elements like that, as well as we do have a Hell Let Loose server. We have a Hell Let Loose server. You're free to play on it. We're, we're trying to do more pub casting on that. Um, have a have a good time. You know, watch watch new people, watch people uh, who may not be uh, all that knowing, not not that aware about what the comp scene is in Hell Let Loose. It's very established, but at the same time, uh, it, it can be inclusive at times. So we're trying to to expand the world out a little bit to to uh hell let loose so um yeah hey yeah, yeah um so while we are waiting i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna throw it to uh the throw it no i won't throw it i won't throw it we're still waiting for that uh that map flip uh about seven minutes about seven minutes um you know Seiko, let's talk about what's going on in hell let loose right now so obviously the big thing i would say is thursday we had an uh unexpected unannounced uh update to LL LL Lose. yeah ll main and drill and drill had an update too it was an entire british yeah. revamp too um a lot of changes i mean what are the you know for you Seagull, what are the most notable changes that you that you saw well ll main the the germans got more cover they added some tunnels in. Obviously, you can't put garrisons in them, but OPs, good hiding factor, good uh, radar beacon that they could be used for now. Uh, you got to be careful coming out of that tunnel because you got an MG or sniper watching it. You're going to pop your head out and you're going to find it real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I, I, I love what they've done to it. They added a bridge, more trees to it, cover. They revamped the whole northern part of Oasis. It looks really nice. Uh, I love. I, I I'm happy they finally fixed that Brind gun though. Yeah, absolutely. I That's the, sad on that Brind. The Brind's brand. a sap. It's a laser now, dude. No recoil, it especially is. on the bipod. It's insane. It's a little weird. Um, 
doing the shoulder fire, it still kind of goes all over the place. But if you mm -hmm. if you knew what you were shooting ahead of time, dude, it's 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 beautiful, right? Like if you if you remember where you were shooting at and you keep on it, like dude, you're gonna get the kill, and it's it's amazing, dude. Love it, absolutely well, love. Back it. Back then, even in World War II, if you if you do a little bit of research, they actually enjoyed using it more of a sniper rifle. So they would load one round into it without the magazine, and you would have one shot to make your sight. Mm -hmm. And it, as a rifle, still had the meter markings that you could pull up on it. And it, I mean, if they could add that into the the fray also, man, I'll be I'll be nice. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, drill. One of the big changes to drill is the British get a whole new weapon whole no throwable that can take out trucks that can take out tanks uh the, is it the gammon is it the gammon bomb um i don't know i haven't played on drill yet it's the gammon bomb i ain't got take out it. tanks dude it's a throwable that can take out tanks so it's like a sticky grenade uh, kind of yeah kind of yeah uh -huh. pretty, cool. pretty cool i i got it i got it it's pretty darn cool man i'm excited for it you know um got to jump a drill one day then yeah, absolutely. Got double uh, AT, just new tanks, out of tank. new, new tanks, of course. Uh, two new, uh, you know, all sorts of new tanks coming into for the British. Yep. Um, and obviously uh, after well for the uh, Crusader. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I think they're definitely usable tanks for sure. So really mm -hmm. excited to see. Um, really excited to see how those play out. Um, SBSR versus Merc, I think, uh, is the first uh, comp match to happen uh, on the new LL main. It's kind of insane. Uh, they they did it tonight. Uh, Merc five owing SBSR. Um, so uh, they they had about forty eight hours to get ready, prep, ready to go for this for that match. So uh, kind of insane, but uh, it's been done. So there is precedent for it now. Um, mm -hmm. LMA had been used about three times, as far as I know, uh, in an actual official comp setting uh, before this. So uh, the 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 ones that come to my mind are. Uh, Ronan did it in uh, the playing stage of Winter Seasonals uh, in a match. I can't remember who they played against, um, but they did it in the playing stage. Um, and then ESPT has run it twice in APL, once against Syndicate, and then once against uh, Gloaty. No. I think it was. No. GBI. GBI. It was against GBI. Um, was it GBI? I think so. I think, I think so. Chat's going to correct me. Chat's gonna correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> um, and for a good reason. Uh, but uh, um, uh, let me look. Now it's gonna drive me nuts if I don't if I don't find it, dude. Um, let's see here. You know what? We could talk about APL real quick. Let's talk about APL. Let's see if we can get some of the results real quick of some of the matches that have happened. Uh, for those of you who uh, don't know anything about APL, APL has been going on for the last you know, six weeks or so. Uh, some of the best North American teams and some and teams that aren't North American. We've had some teams like GBI uh, and uh, uh, Three Foys from, from Aussie land. Uh, the, uh, some South American teams like Ronin Vanguarda uh, have been a part of the competition, but a lot of North American teams, three, three divisions, uh, you know, best, medium, and then, you know, uh, lower tier, obviously. Been really exciting. A lot of great matchups that we've gotten to watch and participate in. Um, and obviously we're in the last two weeks or so of the matchups. We're in the, uh, playoffs. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to KO. KO just said, pray for us. He's, he's playing with, uh, ESPT <laughs> against IR. Uh, <laughs> absolutely dude. Um, uh, do we have any results yet? Uh, obviously the ESPT versus syndicate final for division one is going to be on Sunday. Uh, that's going to be streamed at 1 PM central. Uh, by Guderian, so please check out his stream for an awesome, crazy, tough match. A match that Syndicate uh, was willing to give up. Uh, they were willing to give up uh, their their chance to play uh, in HCA. They, they forfeited to play in this final. So, uh, for and it's on Carrington. On Carrington, very balanced. I think that's going to be an absolute yep. grind fest. I hope for Town Center. Uh, I'll certainly be watching the replay. I got church at that time. Um, but yep. uh, Yes, BT's playing allies, syndicate is Germans. Uh, actually, so the only other matchups that would have happened, uh, 75th versus Ronin. 
which was streamed by Indra. I'm going to look real quick, see if I can get the result real quick of that. Um, uh, yeah, here we go. It's been casted. Uh, 75th, 3-2 against Ronin on Foy Knight. Um, 75th were the Axis, um, obviously the more favorable side. Uh, that was streamed by Indra. So if you're looking to uh, watch a really good stream, I think Indra is a guy who's been absolutely improving his stream more and more. Guderian, I, I, I got to go back because Guderian uh, is just an absolute savage when it comes to uh, uh, streaming, dude. Always been great, dude. His pre-match uh, stuff is some of the best stuff. And on top of it, he's he's probably one of the most well-rounded casters out there. So make sure to watch Guderian live. If you haven't watched uh, Indra's stream of uh, 75th OG versus Ronin, be sure to check out that. Uh, check out his Twitch. And of course, if you're looking for any of the results or or the streams uh, or just interested in APL, there's always uh, there's always there. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to This is going to be my I'm, I'm so sorry. I have columns going that do not... First one. What's up? <laughs> There you go. Okay, I just muted him. Okay, perfect. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, <laughs> dude, I've had so many technical difficulties, and my voice is already going out before the stream has already started, so I apologize. I apologize ahead of time. Seagull, you're going to have to help me, bro. You're going to have to help ah. me so much, dude. Um, this, this, I, I've never had this much adversity with a stream before, so... We're, we'll get well, through it. We'll let's hope it. I don't get too excited to wake up the kiddos. Yeah. Well, I've already put them down, oh, so. No, no, no. Nah. Oh, we're going to get too excited. Tenth Mountain, by the way. Um, 100% upsetting Lucky Strikes Merc. Or Marauders, I'm sorry. Uh, four to one on Foy. I don't think anyone saw that coming. They were the clear number two in the division. Shout out to Tenth Mountain winning four to one. Uh, on Foy Knight as the Axis, they go in. They will play in the finals against Merc, who 5 0 SPSR, as we previously mentioned. Uh, if you're wanting to watch that match between uh, Lucky Strikes and Mikey's Marauders, I'm not sure who casted it. Not sure who casted it. Doesn't say. Um, so uh, the Mo was the one who casted the uh, SBSR uh, mm -hmm. versus uh, uh, Merc match on LL Main. So if you wanted to see a comp match, uh, on a new, an entirely new map, basically. Uh, not entirely new, but I mean, it has changed so much. It's clearly a different, different map. Yeah. Uh, then that, then definitely check that out. So, uh, we are still waiting for the map flip about, uh, as far as start two minutes ago, but, um, anyone who is a caster will know it never starts on time. No, uh, never starts on time. So, um, so we will roll, roll with it, of course. So, well, uh, you know, 10th, uh, 10th Mountain went against Merc already. And was it SME that they fought over midpoint with? Yeah, they would have played each other. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three to two uh, for Merc on SME with mm -hmm. SME being the midpoint. So, um, and on top of it, uh, you know, SME for the allies is more favored uh, in terms of procs. Um, Merc obviously winning as the Axis on that point, but very competitive match. We, we watched it, it together. We, we watched the recording together. Very competitive match. Uh, it, was a, it was a very good back and forth yeah. going through that. A lot uh, of I pressure. look forward to seeing what map they got going for them coming up. Yeah, in the finals. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Um, uh, let me talk about the HDA minors real quick while we are talking about all this. Um, so, cause I talked about the majors, but I didn't talk about the matches up, uh, matches of the matches in the, uh, the minors. So EG, uh, which is a Russian team will be taking on TL, uh, AKA, uh, well, I guess it is TL. TL is going to be in the, the minors, I guess. Uh, I guess I didn't realize that, uh, they're going to be playing in the quarterfinal circle versus BFTB. Uh, Alpha, another Chinese team, is going to be taking on a super dangerous 82nd AD. I think, it, to me, they're one of the, the favorites to win the minors. Uh, had a, a little bit of a disappointing showing in uh, in uh, seasonals and winter seasonals, but then they came back and played extremely competitively uh, in a uh, match against XD, uh, in a uh, uh, scrim against XD, and I believe in, against Syndicate as well, although someone could correct me in the, the chat as well. Uh, and then the last matchup, Chimera, the Aussie Giants, going to be facing off against uh, newly formed, or I guess you could say reformed Helios. 
Um, so that or those are your eight teams that make up the quarterfinals. Uh, any teams that stand out to you, uh, Seagull? Off the top of my head, I know the line, but uh, I have to do my research on some of they, this. They've gone through a huge transformation, so it's going to be really interesting to see. Obviously, a lot of their mm -hmm. guys originally, uh, after seasonals, went to uh, Syndicate. About 12 guys went to Syndicate. Um, and then uh, uh, some of those guys have split off into Helios as well. Uh, guys like Wix, uh, and I believe Covenant and uh, Braz are going to be playing for Helios. Uh, guys like Hagrid, who was on TL, is actually playing for XD now. So a lot of guys have left TL. So it'll be really interesting to see what kind of roster they run out and what they do. I'm not sure if they've gotten guys like Coletto back either. Uh, uh, Coletto, the, uh, the the renowned tanker, uh, is is I'm not sure where. Um, but uh, you know, uh, it'll be interesting to see how TL rolls out. Uh, for this match against ESPT versus IR, I would be I'll be perfectly honest. I think that. I don't really know a whole lot about the IR side in terms of individual players, although I'm looking forward to to watching them again. Uh, you know, I've I've, uh, I've watched them plenty of times play in seasonals, and it was an absolute joy to watch them. For ESPT, they have a lot of players and a lot of continuity. That's kind of their bread and butter is the fact that they've stayed together. They have guys who have played, you know, upwards of 100 matches together, uh, competitive matches together, and, uh, uh, you know, guys like Fortress, uh, who's just an MG uh, genius dude when it comes to playing. Uh, guys like, uh, obviously, uh, Shaka Zulu is a legend, uh, in the Hell at Loose competitive space. Uh, I always, I'm always looking out for KO, uh, you know, coming out swinging. Uh, we'll see. I believe Inchon will be the commander for this match. Uh, he's a, he's a long stay in the Hell at Loose, uh, community, especially with the ESPTs. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see how they run out. But certainly, I think they, they're, they they have the advantage spot uh for for this map uh but you can never count out ir never count out ir they are an extremely creative team uh and i i think that some of it may very well boil down to map control who who has map control on this especially given the fact that with with how open it is over that train track man you got you got to mm -hmm. keep a wide line got to keep a wide line do not let them flank you get along the walls um and, or in the towns for 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 the soviet so um, hundred percent. You got to watch for those troops going on the far back end, You're trying to get them Garys up, OPs in the back lines. Uh, by the way, shout out to my dad who hopped into the VC accidentally. He said an apology. <laughs> say, totally fine, dad. <laughs> totally fine. Uh, I was in a I was in a public VC too, so that's part of it too. <laughs> but uh, but I love you, dad. Uh, thank you for always watching. You, 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 he's 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 probably my number one fan whenever it comes to 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 casting. So I really appreciate it. But uh, uh, we are live now. So thank you so much for for who popped in again. Uh, if you enjoy the content, feel free to join our Discord. Uh, feel free to give us a donation if you really feel like doing it. Um, I see we already got some of the Vanguard guys. Shout out to, uh, to, to our Portuguese friends who are, uh, always loyal to us, man. Always loyal to us. Um, okay, perfect. The stream's working. Okay, perfect. Yeah. You always worry about that, right? So, so Seagull, like, so we'll, we'll talk a little bit about like the struggles of casting, right? Like, you know, one of the <laughs> things is that with these matchups, you know, you do a 15 to 30 minute delay. And in this case, it's going to be a 30 minute delay. And, uh, dude, it's always worrisome because, uh, you never know, like you, you won't know until like 30 minutes into the stream, you whether make sure that it's actually there's an up. issue or not. Right. If there's an issue going on, you know? Um, so it's always a little bit worrisome. Um, but no, but we're up and running, uh, audio is working. So, uh, mm -hmm. uh, obviously I'll have a little bit of a glitch at first, still waiting, still waiting for the, uh, match to start. Um, but yeah, man. Um, I, at some point, we may have uh, Twin City Shredder join us. Um, he he's casted with us before. He casted with us when uh, uh, with the Dogs Den. Whenever we uh, watched uh, Vanguarda take on Seventy Fifth, uh, and a and a beautiful match for APL. Uh, one of my favorite matches who I've ever casted, man. Um, a absolute thriller, man. Three two on uh, SME with the uh, midpoint being checkpoint. Uh, mm -hmm. so, uh, that was, that was a fantastic match to, to watch. Always, always fun watching being garden. Always watch, fun watching 75th. Yep. That it was, but I, I tell you what, I, 
the uh, the ones that put the AT gun up in that second story house. Oh yeah, 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 oh, yeah. I did that in a pub match, and everybody kept yelling at me, "You're going to kill yourself! You're going to kill yourself!" And I'm like, <laughs> I just I just watched this match, and I'm like, dude, I had to try it. So yeah. I went and found an SME map, played as allies, put an AT gun up there, and I should. I crap you not. I killed a tank in there. Crap you not. No, you did not. Really? I did. I did. I killed the panther. It was wicked, man. Dude, and I didn't sad, kill myself man. on the window sill. It, it's just sad. some of those things that, you, you know, you would never think of doing. And then you watch these other people do it, and you're like, man, I got to try that. It's so awesome. And I'm glad people find all these in creative spots. Yeah. Like, who would have known you could put an AT gun in the second story of a house? So we like, are live. Uh, map, map has flipped, so about 50 seconds. And I'm going to take the time. We're going to transition to uh, the gameplay. But I'm going to go ahead and show... Uh, oops, sorry. That's not supposed to be there. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show... Uh, we have the lineup for uh, for IR. Um, so let me get that real quick. Um, so uh, 8DA, uh, 2K is going to be the commander for IR. Uh, and obviously we'll, we'll let it fly with all the squads. I can't name all of them, unfortunately, because I don't, I don't, I don't know Chinese lettering. So I totally <laughs> apologize, but th these are the lineups, uh, for IR. So, uh, uh, shout out to Maven for getting me all the names and the lineup. Um, so, uh, uh, but it's going to be really fun watching these guys. Uh, obviously they're the Soviets, so I apologize that it's German people. Um, uh, but, uh, had to get something up, had to get some type of lineup up, but, um, that is the lineup for, uh, for IR, and with that, we are live. So, oh, my, the... my favorite part, my favorite part. Yes, let's see how good this opening train is. Train station. See that. Yep, sir. Oh, train tracks, baby. Yeah, absolutely. So, train station is going to be it. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, we'll flip in here. And hopefully, my voice can uh, hold together together for this match but train station is going to be the midpoint uh for this match obviously it's at south point yellow house and city overlook are going to be points one and two for espt and then brewery and volga are going to be points two and one uh for ir so uh in line for the chinese uh, and then uh, a little bit staggered for ESPT. Be interesting to see, do they run a, a, a five tank strat? You know, ESPT has been known to use a five tank strat uh, whenever it comes to, to very open maps. It'd be really interesting to see. Um, but train station, man, I think this is, uh, I would say uh, it's, it's it's somewhat balanced. You know, obviously the, the, the the Soviets have a little bit of advantage in terms of the uh, the hard cap, right? They have a lot more buildings, a lot more places to, to spawn off with with cover. Uh, so we'll we'll see how aggressive ESPT decides to push this uh, into train station. Well, what are your first thoughts about about train station, man? Well, as you said, Russians get a little bit of cover, but the Germans they got the high ground. If they put a tank up there with an AT gun. Or, you know, just shoot down, you know, spam out them houses, knock out those spawn points. I mean, it's going to be critical, but you got to stop and think. They got that, that three-story, uh, that big house south of Brewery, and it's a good line of sight up there. If you can still build an AT gun in that bottom story house up there in like a uh, Golf 8, that's going to be nice. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look one. real quick. So we do have an AT gun that's already been set up. Really interesting position. Jaeger and Sap. They're going to get an AT gun up. I've never seen this AT gun spot before. Really interesting. You can see kind of what the line of sight will be like uh, for this. I, I can't see it. it. It almost looks like they're they're trying to shoot hotel. It'll be really interesting to see. Maybe a counter AT gun spot. Really tough to tell. Uh, currently, the what's stationed up right now, they got one Lux, two man, run by Free the Panther and Tax Squad. Uh, second Lux. We got a second Lux coming up from South HQ, run by Fupa. Um, and obviously, uh, uh, Epcot Tiger is going to be up in that medium. Right now, I'm only seeing... Oh, yep, they're going to run got four. Puma. They got the Puma as well, soloing by Arcaden. So... Uh, a lot of guys set up on the south side, and obviously they're going to get set up in Yellow House as well. Let's see if we get a look on the setup for IR with five seconds to go. See if I get there in time. And we are off. I do not see IR. 
Yeah, oh, because I'm too far out. There we go. We can see the first truck coming in. Four IR, three passengers up in that transport truck as well. AT shots already going out. Supply drop going north. Four IR, I believe. Yep. This is the best moment of the game, in my opinion, man. Just being able to watch these guys come up. You can see yeah, there. I mean, there's that opener. Yeah, absolutely. Looks like a, uh, they dropped early with the commander and, and the uh, squad leader up on that on Yellow House. No cap progress yet. We got guys coming in. You can hear that truck up on that south side. That's going to be ESBT, but initial cap pressure for IR. Truck driving, driving out of bounds to get into this. I love to see it. They know they got to get positioning real early. Lux and shots down on the northeast side. Oh my gosh, transport trucks running into each other. They dropped out. Oh. And the SPT oh, oh. clobbering them up. Oh Much my word. Unbelievable. Wap the entire transport That's truck. That's huge. Out. Absolutely critical for ESPT. And they're going to take control of the south. With a few guys up to spare, definitely did what? not. Get, I don't think they got OPs up. One squad leader left, but down he goes. Oh, he goes. And KO pushing it. They have an OP much close, right? Well, let's say that squad leader got his uh, OP down before he went. And you can hear there's a Lux up on that south side, but the Soviets got a light tank. Gonna follow it for a split second here. He's gonna put it behind the train track, so he's got great visual of the ESPT guys coming up on the south side of the point. And he got cover from those armor. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful positioning. Mm -hmm. So cap progress right now in favor of ESPT. But the, the, the light tank is just lay, laying hate. You can see the map control. Two tanks pushing up on the south side, including the Panzer IV and the Lux. Great, great line, three garrison line for ESPT. Across the board, ranging from Yellow House all the way down to the southwest side of train station. And right now, the cap progress currently in favor, but IR is mounting some pressure. They've actually gotten a decent amount of guys back up on the southwest side with a recon tank helping them out. But Lux is pushed up to try to get some hits on this light tank. The flex off the good front. Track. 18 shots to oh, the front. 18. So two Luxes. You, still goes the light hey. tank. Randall the getting the kill. The so two Luxes, one up on the point and one on the south side. Oh, we just saw a shot. We got another light tank for IR pushing in on the northwest side. We'll see if he can get around the Luxes, but he can't hit them from the front. IR taking position along the line, but they're not able to hold it. ESPT has been able to push out. Big congregation of IR guys on the southeast side of the point. Down goes the Lux. The medium taking out the Lux. Won't you? And they got that recon tank as well. But there's the PZ4. I'm not sure he has. He does not have visual on the recon tank. But he may get in contact with this medium for the Soviets. I uh, still got an LOS issue right there. And that's a cap in favor of ESPT, so they're going to make it 3-2. to two. Oh, we might have a tank battle coming in. Oh, they're about to get visible. They just took the shot as well. IR may get the first shot of this. They deflect off the front of... He's backing up. The flash off the front as well, too. The flex is... Bam. Gets a hit. IR getting the first hit. ESPT in nowhere in position to move. They may get the oh, second nice shot. Time. They get the kill. IR. P4. P4 went down. So the question is, can they take this and use it to try to get any type of pressure? Medium is down for ESPT, but I'm sure they're going to get a Tiger up in here real quick. Oh, yeah. Now, and right now, they wrap up, they can... Uh, Hopefully they'll have the armor advantage for the least the next two to three minutes and get yeah. that push person. Absolutely. They are having to rep that medium, but they are holding infantry from pushing any further east other than the road. ESPT doing a good job of holding that due east side of the point, but they got tanks. You can see the light tank. IR doing a great job 
of using their art their armor to hold them in different different avenues and you can see here mm -hmm. ir really interesting pushing a lot of guys north of the point trying to get around trying to get positioned up on the ridge line so the question gets what? then becomes actually there is cap cap in favor of ir the garrison was locked on train station just for a split second Conchu pushing it. Big, uh, bit of a spawn wave. Chris JT, yeah, Rando, and a Brazilian that. from Vanguard. Big spawn wave off an OP for IR. Really close to this garrison as well. Already just oh. ran a real close on ESPT on the south side of the garrison. Really, I mean, this is a really tight spot for ESPT to be that garrison. It's just in danger. They keep constantly pushing it. But ESPT responding oh. very well to it. They got a really good push going up that east side. You can see here two garrisons up. One southwest of train station and one on the hard point as the medium is getting hit. They got one garrison up on the north side of Brewery. Whammo trying to get set up. Fear not. Leading the charge on that. And the AIR trying... Sorry. The medium for IR. Oh my gosh. Already just took, almost took out the crewmate. He got in just in the nick of time. Not entirely sure why he's engaging. He got hit hard. There's a lot that's due west of him. Tiger is now rolling in. Due west of train station. He may start getting visual. Here comes the AT guy. He's coming. Uh, he's coming to hunt that. Yeah, he is surrounded by infantry right now. He's backing up. Double Big spawn wave, and he runs wall. over two of his guys. Oh no! Oh no! And infantry now using the opportunity as the tank moves back to push into position. You can see the Lux out in the distance, rolling north. Full speed ahead. Oh no, he gets out to repair, but... Infantry pushing out of the OP with a medium. They're gonna try to get repair, but they literally got Itsuka Katori pushing up on the south side of the tank. Not facing. Here comes the rocket. Takes out the OP, takes one a shot hand. on the tank. We going in down. I don't get this. We got one more. Gets a second in, but it's oh. a track hit. And Seth went down. So the tank is just holding on by a thread. No infantry support there anymore. We're gonna go ahead and peek out a little bit. See kind of what we're dealing with in terms of the grand scheme of things. You can see there, there was a spawn wave by IR up on that building complex. That's where, where, kind of where they've been pushed back. ESPT has been pushing back their line. Great, uh, great shot. Down and goes the, the medium. Four. And AT taking care of it. You can see AT here, AT gun set up for IR. Launching shots, but I'm not sure if he can get all that much visual on the point. Oh my goodness, he just got a hit on that Tiger all the way up there. And no the Tiger went down. Way! Beautiful shot. And not the Tiger, but he no. got some type of vehicle there. Beautiful shot. Unbelievable. Could that have been their supply truck? I'm not sure. He took out something. And the distance was crazy on that. That was a good shot. And so here's the here's the danger of what we're looking at. We're looking at the map right there. You can see the OP line, which is absolutely beautiful for ESPT. Still currently three to two. And you can see a lot of infantry. They're, they're starting to push the line a bit. You see Rupert. But the OP and Garrison just lit up on train station. We're gonna take a look real quick. You can see IR pushing infantry. Through the warehouses. And I think this is their push, right? I think this is absolutely their push that they got to take is go through the warehouses, especially with that garrison. Just being on the mm -hmm. south side of those warehouses right there. And you got infantry real close. OP spawn. OP spawn. Takes out OPS. Chris JT, US Ranger from 75th. Taking him out. Down goes Jaeger in the board. Can Chris JT he gets him? So 
So I are not currently able to push to the warehouses, and you can see it's it's kind of been a split, but you can see ESPT pushing pushing to the line, but it's just really open on that west side of brewery, and the, and, and IR has just kind of kind of kept their somewhat of a line, somewhat of a line. They've been pushed back a bit, but you can see IR pushing up on that south side still. Yeah, they're trying to get their foothold back in. But they got they got that breakage from ESPT. They're gonna have to take out that those men up there and reform up their lines. Cause they're pushing they're getting towards brewery right now. Yep, absolutely. So ESPT responding to the threat on the warehouses. They've just pushed a lot of guys up and IR has kind of pushed a little bit back. Unfortunately up in the open field. Yep, there comes that Lux too coming up to the warehouse. Yeah, you can see that for sure. Literally gonna go right inside. Right in the warehouse. He's gonna go inside. He's like, oh, oh my it's fear, what this, boy? It's actually a beautiful spot for this, for this Lux here, just to rain hell from him. Already takes out the, the truck, it looks like. Takes out the truck. Disappears, no explosion, but took it out. Still got about an hour and 15 minutes left in this match. Lots of time for IR to do something, but the map control by ESPT has been absolutely stellar. You see here, they're kind of wrapping around the guys up on the northwest side of Brewery. Heard some type of explosion. Not entirely sure what that explosion is. But ESPT kind of pushing on a line on that on the uh, the north side of Brewery. Brazilian noob from Vanguard, of. not that far away. Although he just went down. IR having to get pull back a little bit towards Brewery, having to play a little bit more defensively. And, and when you look, I mean, this is, I mean, this is textbook ESPT, man. Textbook ESPT. Although a garrison just lit up north side of train station for ESPT. Got to take a look at what's going on there. Just a couple guys wrapping around. So IR having to do a wide flank. Flank, sorry, Momoko. He just, he's got about 50 supplies. Maybe he's trying to get... Oh, he just spot the garrison. Maybe not. Garrison right next to him. He's locked it out. And there he goes. He just found it too. Getting suppressed. But he's got to get this garrison. Yeah, He's got the Gary. Oh, yeah. and Jaeger He gets headshot. absolutely blown up by Smearin, but he did his job. He did. He got the Gary. And you can see here, ESPT has started to push out their OPs. They got a wide garrison up on that north side. Vaughn, Matt, and Dash 30 up on that north side. Another spawn wave off the garrison north of Brewery. And now they got the Lux. Free the Panther. With a garrison just lighting up, so IR kind of sneaking people in. Oasis gets shot on Striker, gets it down. Can he get the garrison? One guy sneaking moment. in for IR. And just like and that, the garrison's the gar on the point. The problem is, one garrison ain't gonna cut it for IR, and they got hardly anyone. Bo Platypus getting one up. Oasis tags him back. Oh, there's a big spawn wave by IR. They put their OP right in the middle of the point. But they do know they're there. They just flared it. But unfortunately, they're not with, with the amount of guys. Oh, they just locked another garrison. So the second garrison is about to go down. Can't spot it. Oh, he tried to get it. The spotter couldn't get it in time. He got machine gun from the ridge. Beautiful suppression. Beautiful awareness. You can see that Lux pushing in for ESPT. Then Lux shells up. Gets a shot on the oh, rear, making him spin. Look at the, the dancing queen. He may have just gotten. Nope, he's not stuck. He's just backing up. The IR guy. Or he raining down around him. He's been hit once, but he's still up. Big four way with it's three fun. eight or eight three eight guys. What a response by IR. 
down. And goes. the lux goes down. Hey, I've always said it. If a tank can pull people back, that's a good tank. Absolutely. Absolutely. Still an uh, hour and 11 minutes to go, so a lot of time. But ESPT, you can see the line that they've made. I'll go ahead and go a little bit more of a bird's eye view. You can see here just the amount of guys that they've now pushed. They pushed their line, IR's line, all the way back up to the second road past train station. So, Yeah, but now, now here comes the ESPT. They got across that open field. Yeah, but you can see IR guys pushing across the open field as well, trying to get back into the warehouses. And ESPT doing a really good job of, you know, they, they've identified that their issue is is the warehouses. No garrison back. Oh, they've, they've transitioned the garrison a little bit further south, it looks like. Nope, same spot. Same spot. But then again, not a whole lot of spots to put it, so. They're going to keep it in the same spot. We'll see if IR can, can be able to identify... ESPT putting the garrisons in the same spot. They have locked out that garrison north of Brewery as they're trying to push west. But I don't think they have identified that that garrison is there for ESPT. We're going to take a moment real quick here just to do a shameless plug. If you're enjoying the content, feel free to, to follow us on Discord. Uh, and, if you, and if you really like the content, feel free to give us a donation. Feel free, we, you know, all of it is to, uh, we don't do affiliate, we don't do partners, so there's no ads. We would really love your support. So be sure to support us if you if you enjoy the content. Obviously, uh, for those of you who are watching, we so thank you for joining us in this matchup between ESPT and IR uh, for HCA quarterfinals. And you can see here, IR trying to push across the open field is just so difficult. Inchon about to get into contact with Baba. And Inchon oh. getting the heads up play as the commander. Hey, sometimes commander's got to get his feet wet too, man. Absolutely. You got to love an active commander, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. You can see ESPT continuing to push. They've now pushed up into this, this building complex due west of Brewery. With guys up north as well, you're kind of kind of making it an L-shaped ambush. They're right on the line, right on that blue line for ESPT. Shift W, my brothers. Shift W. <laughs> up. Shift, KM saying, Shift W, my brothers. Right side of the road. <laughs> Got him. Love it. Love it. IR just a little bit spread out right now. Just not able to get a foothold. You see the Tiger for, for ESPT is still up on that southwest side, just maintaining overwatch. And they got to know there's infantry pushing on the front doorstep. One OP goes down for ESPT on that northeast side. They're getting back into the warehouses again. Got a good push coming from IR. Oh, we got a tank too. A medium tank for Igar pushing in. Pushing he's just going to he's just gonna try to clear OPs as he rushes by. Bigger question is, does the tiger know he's there? Uh, he'll find out pretty soon here. It's going to be tough. To, but he's got great coverage. He's got great coverage from that tiger on that southwest side. So, and for those of you who are joining us, currently three to two for ESPT with an hour and seven minutes left. Lots of time for play. I was curious where all the tanks were. I've seen the one tiger, and that was that was about it. You can see body parts true. flying. Chris JT goes down on the point to this medium. He's gonna know now. Big spawn wave off the game, off an OP, including Sap, and he just lost his infantry up on his right side. But down it goes. Oh, okay. Blows up Sap in the warehouse, and then appropriately backing up. Just heard a deflection off that tiger. Not sure if you got hit by an AT gun. We're gonna check it out real quick. Let's see here. So he's gone down. He's not on the ridge anymore. Launches shots at the infantry. He's got great visual, but he doesn't have visual on that medium tank just yet. 
Not, uh, and I wouldn't be able to see pings either, unfortunately. But surely he knows, right? He's got he's got infantry all up on his west side. I guarantee he knows he's there now. Oh, you know it. Takes out fighters and then blowing up guys in this barn. Absolutely brutal. Pollo Loco on the backside, but infantry Ooh. takes him out. And now the tank going a little shift W. It's like a little game of whack-a-mole for this tank. Whichever door you come out of, bro, I'm gonna pick, pick it up with like Oh, an AT shot coming He rotates a bit. He's gonna back up here. He got a good shot on the rear of the tank. What a Man, another AT shot! Fly. Way out there, another AT shot, way out! Barely, narrowly missing! Yeah, man, it's not. The Pollo Loco. He's gonna have to get way back. He's at the turn, and unfortunately, there oh, he goes! Seth got him! Seth getting the kill! And he didn't know what was behind door number three! Hey, you gotta be careful when you start going through that. Absolutely. A lot of doors for ATM people to pop out of. So here's what's really interesting. So IR has been able to push through the south side. They're actually pushing that garrison that ESBT has. But they have acknowledged it with Artie out of 1776 launching shot. Boom! Oh, boom. Artie! Big spawn wave off the garrison for ESBT! There's an OP as well, two guys. Here it comes. And Zuko can get his shot it's off. Raiding. He gets him. One against seven. Shinako trying to hold it for the OP spawn. He's there, he's there. He's there. Can't get him, but he I gets am. enough time for two to I spawn off. An OP off. spawn. North. Down goes one, but he ain't getting it. 933. 933. Mikey right around the corner. Another, Another spawn wave on the garrison. Wave. Yep. This time 1200. Butters. Shout out to 1200. Mikey goes down to 9333. 1200 goes down as well. Hit that out. Hit goes moment. It's a trade. Blackjack, Blackjack goes up. No one holds the garrison. And can this guy for IR? Nope. He's pushing west. They've not identified the garrison being there. They've identified infantry. Two of them. Okay. And the difference in the spawn wave may be the difference. Down goes one, he holds an angle, KO and a funny aim. Hold it a little bit. And Bryce goes down. Funny aim. Gotta get more people on that OP. Yep, Garrison is now Gary. safe. Unbelievable, I'm gonna peel out real bit. Can't look at it the whole time. Gotta get a little bit of wide angle, I'm sorry. I love the engagements though. What a grind fest. Between IR and ESPT up on that south side. And you can see the line that ESPT has very spread out. They're still pushing back. It's kind of been back and forth on this red line a little bit for ESPT and IR. IR definitely not out of the fight yet, but they gotta they gotta win these gunfights. And unfortunately, it looks like ESPT may have pushed that OP back on that south side. Already real close to IR. Adam very good at acknowledging. Where these guys are coming in at. And with that, I'm going to welcome into the chat. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome in, Twitch City. It's a, it's a pleasure to have you in here, dude. Sorry I'm late. Not I a feel problem. Like a dick. Not a problem at all. So for, for, for Twin City and for the rest of you guys, if you're hopping in, we're about an hour hour left in the match. ESPT holding on Stalingrad midpoint is train station. 3-2, you can see the line that ESPT currently has. Great map control, great garrison placement. Great <laughs> armor right now for ESPT, but they're they're not close to pushing Brewery yet. It's a tough point. Based on the procs, it's a very tough point for ESPT to take. It is. You have a lot of open field to cover and little cover to make it. But I mean, that goes the same way. Same for the IR. Yeah, absolutely. They got they got across the open fields just to get that ground back. So you can see the IS-1 on the point on Brewery on that south side. First time that we've seen an IS-1 in the fight, although I'm sure he was playing a little bit further back earlier, just didn't see it. 
And the issue may become that ESPT gets a little bit stuck on the southeast side. It may even turn into a grind fest. So the question is, can IR capitalize on it? Because unfortunately, ESP, ESPT is just pushed down all the way across the line. A little bit of a, you can see here on, on a wide angle, ES, uh, IR has a little bit of, I mean, the, the open space is just absolutely brutal for IR. I mean, they, they've continually tried to push the warehouses, but unfortunately, ESPT has been able to acknowledge it and push them out of the warehouses. But a lot of infantry going down for ESPT. IR may have a little bit of an opening here to push into the warehouses. And if they can do that, they may be able to start pushing down. But ESPT has just done a great job. One goes down, two OP spawns for ESPT. But IR is taking up the gap. Jaeger goes down, Chris JT. Another goes down. Chris JT and Chakazulu, the only ones left holding these OPs. IR pushing dangerous and close. Oh, one he just went down. goes down for Chris JT's. Hops over the Jump. fence. Gets him. Oh, oh, right. him. Got him. So now one OP left. Shaka Zulu and his squad trying to hold it down. You gotta love it, though. Just hopping the wall. Getting turned on the backside of Chris JT and takes him out. We can see a bit of the spread IR pushing a little bit north. You can see that PZ4. Look at that. Taking out an OP. Oh, by his lonesome. Oh, it's a garrison. It's a garrison. He missed the shot. Can he get the garrison now? Clearly he can't. A little embarrassing. He misses the first shot, but he finishes the job. So garrison out for IR up on this northeast side in the blue zone. For IR. And now they're going to drop a supply drop. Try to put a blue line, blue line blue zone garrison sorry, of their own. gotta love it you gotta love the line that ESPT has and the question is can IR capitalize on it you can see the OPs are lighting up light tank rush it in for IR I'm curious to see does he know where this medium is at can he get up on the back side I'd love to see a light take out of BD4 I mean, he's just rolling shift W times four. Look at him roll in. Bombing run for ESPT. Missing a lot of guys, though. May have gotten the garrison, not sure, but a lot of infantry still will play for IR. Supply drop for ESPT. Tank's pushing west, but I'm not sure if he sees the... Oh my goodness. Oh, he don't see oh my the goodness, medium. he didn't see it. Well, I don't the think they saw don't each other. The ESPT has marked it, though. Oh my goodness, they're tracking it. ESPT definitely knows. There he goes, he's Help, backing up, up. up. There he goes, the P4. He's backing up. Can he get a line of sight, he's though? He's trying to get up. This light tank is just shift w -ing. Oh my goodness. Get that no line of sight just in the nick of time. Oh, if only he knew how close. We got oh, it's a red shot on the rear. Get an infantry. He's slowed up. Misses a shot on a barricade. He's still up. But he's not moving anymore. AT. It's got AT coming in. Yep, AT, AT on the one. rear. That's one shot. Oh, he's done for. Gotta get out, oh, but. Oh, AT. no. So he now he's up by his load, so trades with Old Paradox. Trade. So it's gonna be really interesting to see, is this a is gonna be a continued pattern by IR, where we're just gonna see a, an influx of a, you know, very aggressive tank play trying to clear out OPs and spawns with ESPT clearly holding infantry a map advantage as well as that PZ4 up on that northeast side of train stations. You can see, I mean, this is just textbook, right? OP just spread out on the line for ESPT. Mm -hmm. One OP is lit right now. That's it. Only one OP is lit. All the backline garrisons are clean for ESPT. So clear dominance right now for ESPT, but still 57 minutes left. Lots of play time. Lots of play time.
And with that, we're going to take a moment just to point out who, who we got on the commentator team. Sheepdog, Twin City Shredder, and Seagull. Right now into the in the commentator seats for the dog stand. So if you're watching it, please give some W's in the chat for Twin City as well <laughs> as for Seagull. First time in the commentator chair as well for Seagull. You can see yeah, here. I'm being very quiet right now too. I'm just I'm soaking it in, man. It's 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 it, it, it's a little overwhelming at first when you first do it, isn't it? It's a lot. It is. That's a lot. I mean, you're sitting there, you're watching, you're watching the back and forth, all the gunfights, the, you know, two really good teams duking uh, out, IR holding it up. I mean, you get to watch beautiful moments like that, already just absolutely shredding our boy KO. Prayers, yep. prayers out for <laughs> KO. He, he texted me beforehand, make sure to pray for us. In charge, the commander to get a kill on 9333. We saw how dangerous 9333 was earlier. I oh, there comes that versus V. See. Nope, nope. We can go and turn his back to him. backside. Beagle's so down. Him in the back. And they're finally pushing up on that east side of the building. Inchon literally, literally leading the charge. He's got an IS just right north of him. But he's still up. Pretty all around Inchon, but it don't matter. Oh, spawn wave to the south of him. Oh my goodness, he didn't even see it. I don't think they saw each other. Inchon, pick it up. No. Oh, oh, no, Arnie. Arnie. Just blowing him up out of 1776. <laughs> and Inchon goes down in the process. Two IS-1s up. You can see one west of Brewery and then one on the point. Having to rep though. Tiger on the point for ESPT, on the third point for ESPT. You can see there is a bit of an engagement now between that Tiger and the IS-1. I, I think he just barely can't see him. No, he can! Oh, and the just other got a turret shot over the, the top. Yeah, He's gonna have to wrap. It's just a turret shot, though, so I, do, he can't, I don't think he can kill him from here, but they are gonna have to wrap. You can see an AT gun up for Striker and Funny Yam, exactly what Siegel was talking about earlier. Oh my goodness. Nice. Down goes the, 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 the IS-1. Not sure if it, it must have been a satchel, right? Baba takes out XO and Mikey. Oh my gosh, AT gun goes down for ESPT. So a little bit of a trade and AT gun goes down. IS-1 goes down for IR. They still got that other IS up though. They, they do. IS one is still up for, the for IR, and then a Tiger is still up for for ESPT. You can see this line just shifting a bit. OPs are still up on that line for ESPT. Still have great map control. XL Baba goes down. Mikey getting his revenge. I, I don't think that Tiger knows that IS went down because he still has his turret facing that way. Well, you can see the IS just down the road trying to peek the Tiger. Yeah, but the Tiger's trying to peek the other IS. Oh, oh but oh, he knows. No, no. Oh, he He's knows. He's got his turret turned to him. He knows it's there now. He knows. Can't get hits, though. Absolutely suppressing him. That's one of those times after the shot, peek? you're going to have to peek and shoot and go back in cover. Question is, can he get shots beyond the wall? I mean, I mean Twin, I don't... Have you, have you ever seen this before? I'm not sure if he can get shots beyond that wall. Certainly can't see him, right? Like, I don't think he can see him from this spot. Well, if the Tiger backs up far enough, he might be able to get above that. Yeah. No, Twin, that's a tough one. My oh, hardest oh. thing about tanking is... Knowing that the spotter sees like four feet higher than you yes. shooting. Yeah. You know. Oh my gosh, he peeked no out one behind the shot. ESPT having to back that tiger up. Yeah, just get, it's just going to turn into a peak right. game. And unfortunately for IOR, they don't have that second tank to, uh, to double tap them anymore. So may just turn into a back and forth. Let's go ahead and look to the north a little bit for IR. We got a Lux. Just got tripled up by IR. 
unbelievable. So IR, we've seen this, uh, seen this by by both teams. Just the the presence of of AT. I mean, we've seen more tanks go out to AT than we've seen to actual tanks so far. I don't. And, and both teams are on point on that AT. Yeah, absolutely. Both teams are. Down goes Pollo Loco, paying F. With Artie to his east. I hear a position. It's going, going south. <laughs> yep. Oh, it was just way off, unfortunately. Way, way off. See this IS-1 try. He knows where that tank is at. Just right behind that wall. Just can't get the shot. He's going to wait for me. Deflect! Oh, oh my man. goodness, deflection! Got something! Uh, AT, AT gun. gun! AT gun! This IS-1 playing a dangerous game, but he, he so far succeeded at it. He's gonna push north now. Oh my gosh, just got hit from a different angle! AT gun! Ooh. Can't get the Ooh. shot. Can he get behind the trolley and tied the flashing? He bounced it. Let's Missing. Be safe out of the trolley. So that's super interesting. You can see one AT gun up. T the, there's a tiger that is backing out. He's just due south of the yellow house. Katushka strike inbound. I'll be curious where it ends up going. Does it go to the, the west side of brewery? Yep. So it's gonna actually it's gonna go kind of on the point. But oh, we got infantry pushing up. Funny, yeah, I'm trying to push the OB. Actually, push the garrison. He was really close. You know he knows it's there now. Oh, you know now. And then he got ESPT infantry. This is the furthest that we've seen infantry push up for ESPT on that west side of brewery. Gotta play a little bit patiently too. Got a player that just went over for ESPT. Yeah, they've spotted the tank, lots of infantry. And they've spotted a tank that was that's north. Yep, you can see it here. Light tank, just like we saw earlier, but he just got hit in the rear by AT. It's a medium. He's gonna load up, he's gonna get a second shot. Yeah, medium. Oh, oh. Down Man, he goes. medium just goes down. And you know, twin, we've seen this multiple times by IR pushing medium and light tanks really aggressively on these warehouses but so far no cigar really hasn't been able to capitalize i don't know what your thoughts are on on that i mean i mean it seems to be costing ir a bit here i mean the the tank gameplay is something uh, you know i'm more experienced in blowing them up <laughs> 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 you know uh tanking is so stressful i i can't even imagine i commend the guys that do it absolutely and, and you know um you know, ESPT, and the AT guns. ESPT, other than the Luxes, have played very far back. Even their medium, you know, just kind of holding the line. And There's IR, a lot of good view spots from this map, you know? Yeah, absolutely. The ridge line was really interesting. You can see two AT guns now set up for ESPT up on that ridge line. They've put their Tiger uh, down into the point. Although they do got one Tiger due east of Yellow House uh, trying to get repositioned. The, the, the Tiger now repositioning there's going to be no tanks now on the point for train station they're going to push that tank up north not sure if it's in response to a tank or if it's just they're trying to get a different angle on this is it could be, could be just trying to get that line of sight on that is well and it could be too know. you know they got these at guns sight you know lined up right now they can hold these tanks at bay, he's going to push up the Tiger where they don't have AT guns set up. But you can see two IS-1s on defense. One, he just got hit by an AT gun. Yeah, you can see they're just holding it down. He's going to hold steady, though. He's just got a yeah, second he's, shot. He's going to go down, I think. Got an AT no gun. Oh, AT gun. Oh, wow. Now going to move back into position. I mean, IR, their heavies are just playing to win here. Holding strong. Only seen one IS-1 go down so far for IR. Looked like he got satcheled. Now they're playing a little bit more reserved with their IS-1s, but pushing their light tanks and medium tanks extremely aggressively. 
with that, we're going to go ahead and show the lineup again for IR in the meantime on the bottom of your screen. Supply drop coming in on Trade Station for ESPT. You can see a couple of OPs line, line up, including one in the warehouse where the Tiger is has pushed up. One guy, one support guy, Bryce. But down he goes. I think the warehouse is just absolutely critical for IR, but have not been able to push it. And now with that Tiger there, it's just going to be absolutely brutal for IR to try to get any type of momentum. I think ESPT also too. I mean, I don't know what you guys guys think. If, if you're ESPT, if you're in Sean, you may just be looking at this and say, look, we got fantastic map control. Let's not play super aggressively. Let's not not, not give up the space because every time that you play aggressively and you, you lose infantry, it may end up costing you ground and IR may have, be able to take up the space. We've seen that happen multiple times where IR has been able to push back to their their to their blue line. We just saw a hit on the rear of the IS-1 by an AT gun. Again, even oh, near the repair one station, it's getting hit. Oh my Ooh, goodness! And then they have to go down round. next to him. Oh, barely missing. He's just barely out of the line of sight. Now he can repair. He's peeking out. There it goes. 18 oh. guns. All right. No, tank's still up. Tank's still up. Repair, repair station the... is down. What blew up there? Uh, the repair the station. Repair, repair station, station oh. just went down. So now he's going to have to rep on his own. And guess what? Those 18 guns can see. I mean, other than just maybe a sliver of the, you know, through that building. He's peeking out. Playing very dangerously here. Deflection Ooh, up the turret. I am. Wow. Gets the AT going. Get... Lifts the fight. <laughs> well played. And it's just this cat and mouse game. ESPT doing a fantastic job of multiple AT guns. They literally have none on the table, though. I mean, IR has just been able. Oh my goodness. Garrison just lit up on the backside. A squad leader is up. But ESPT is going to note they've built up barbed wire. Unbelievable. Built up barbed wire there on the south side. Beautiful jump by ESPT to make them, you know, you know channel them. Oh, my gosh. They got a garrison. ES EIR yeah, just got a garrison. garrison up on that southwest side. But ESPT has to know. Striker up on that northwest side. And they're going to spread to another OP spawn. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, going to be a big push. And an OP spawn OP. flick. Open there the garrison! PK Man. real close. Wow. Can he sneak in? Oh, oh my no. god. Oh. What? What? Oh my Sap, no! Flick! Can he get it? Get it! No! Him. Wow. Heads up play by Flick! Oh my goodness. Oh. Uh, it must there. have been a friendly shot on the garrison. Clears it. Although it was already cleared. Momoko is spreading out. Well, let's see. Can they can they see this garrison? Blackjack oh, real close to it. Heads up play You're by Blackjack. And the garrison's going down. Great awareness by ESVT. But it's not over yet. IR getting a squad leader. A couple guys up, still Rivers goes down. Another guy goes down. Kiwi. Getting them with the hip fire. Momoko, the other one left. He's got an OP up, but it, it, it's it's exposed. You can see the garrison up for IR up, up just due north of his OP. Spawn wave off oh. the OP. Two, three of them gets down by Jaeger. Jaeger just four piecing them up. Jaeger still up. Gets Five. them. Unbelievable. ESVT That's just nice winning street. the gunfights. Spawn wave again. Oh, wow. Of two Jaeger. Just oh, wow. Oh, three of them, man. 3v3. I mean, just the textbook, right? Like, they just get. I just saw a fourth point flicker. Guys in the point. 
So while EAIR puts a garrison up on the southwest side of train, ESPT getting solid presence at the point. Lack of response by IR as well. Oh, this is going to be absolutely brutal. IS on the southeast side of the point, but no serene. There ain't no one to help. There they comes Rain. All around him. They're having to mid. come in from Gal Volga. And here's the issue. If ESPT takes this point, all they got is a all they gotta do is knock down front door. HQ is locked. This is very solid cap pressure right now. A third of the way on the point. You can see y'all are trying to make the way back and they're just ESPT's got hung up in that house and them buildings. They're making them come to them now. Yeah, absolutely. And they're having to spawn back from from the west side of the point. IS1 trying to hold it down, but he is literally it. He's literally the only presence on this point. You can see. I mean, this is a mistake. This is a mistake. The tank needs to go back. Big spawn, OP spawn wave. But they're already covering it. ESPT. Two thirds of the way. MG just oh, slaughtering oh, them. They have the angles. They got it contested now. Can can they gets the oh. MG on brewery? And now Katushu coming in. No garrison left for ESPT, but enough or it's locked. Lots of OPs though. IR getting back. Literally having to Katushka their own boy. They're katushka their own guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, I all heard no. Katushka their own guys. But it's getting some ESPT as well with OP spawns for IR. IR getting that cat pressure back. I think the tank absolutely helping him. Although that tank, I, I think it's gone. Not seeing it anymore. Cat progress back in favor of ESPT. They did a Katushko, but it's gone now. I IS trying to hold Overwatch from the north side. We'll go ahead and get visual. You can see his angle on the point. Point just going back and forth right now. IR getting the cat progress back. But ESPT still with their OP spawns. Still about five OPs. And on top of it, you know, th th what, what may end up happening is that now, now IR has to make a choice, right? They were holding that west side of brewery. Now they gotta, they're having to use those guys to collapse back. So does ESPT capitalize on this as guys from IR are pushing back east towards brewery? Can ESPT take up the space? Sap holding it up against bread. And it looks like IR may have solidified their point. And I'm not sure that ESPT has really capitalized on this. In fact, if anything, OP are still lighting up. In fact, the OP just went down. Due west of brewery for ESPT. I think yeah. they got a tank down there. Yeah, they, they did at one point. Let's go check it out real quick. You can see the effort. Yep, they sure do. Yep. IS1. Repping. Yo, I would have thought that ESPT would have capitalized more on that. They had such solid cap pressure. We're two thirds in and use that space. But if anything, IR is just flipped it right back around them. Take it back up that space. So the question is, can ESPT solidify the line? If you remember correctly, that the, the OPs were just spread out all along that line. That's non-existent anymore. And in fact, the one OP's up for Baker up in F7 is now hot. OP's lighting up north as well on Brewery for ESPT. Gary locked. 
Down goes 92-33 to KO. Just like that, my voice has gone. <laughs> <laughs> but oh. as you said, you see, you you've seen it before. They've had a great line. They got a little too aggressive. Yep. And now they have no front door holding. Now they still got a couple radars up there, and they're making IR pull back. The question is, do you keep that push or do you reset and reform your line? Yeah, it's so interesting too. ESPT two with still two clean OPs on the east side of brewery. The garrison is now opened up. No OPs front door except one in the warehouse. But no, IR is it? not in the warehouses yet. The tank is pushing up on the south side. He got hit by the on the track. Tough to tell. It looks like a track hit to me. He is hurting a bit. He's gonna have to reverse out a little bit here. Two OPs up for IR up on the south side. Yo, I've been very, I've been very impressed with the IS-1s for IR. Staying up in the fight, taking out AT guns. I'm, all, you know, at the at the end of the match, we're gonna have to look at the stats and see how well these these uh, IR IS ones have done. But so far, they've kind of gotten the better. Of oh, ESP they got the Gary locked. Someone. Yeah, Gary locked. Oh, they're pushing right over the wall. Molotov on the window, on the door. I'm sorry. Multiple Molotovs. But down goes. Down he goes, U.S. Ranger getting him. And Price now up on that north side. They surely didn't know where the garrison is at. They've taken it out there before. Gonna go spread out a little bit here. Kind of get a bird's eye view. ESBT trying. Oh my gosh, they got to the garrison. Price just took Price it out. Got the garrison. And just like that, chosen, get, taking out the support, dude. He's got supplies there still. He could get a garrison back up. Yeah, he's going to get it back up, but a dude pushing him already. Garrison hot. Chosen's got to know it. He's looking. Oh my goodness, I don't know what happened. Guy on the other side of the wall. Almost looked like a redeploy. Deflection off the IS-1. Up on that south side. Again, I mean, just look at the deflection. Unbelievable off the arbor. Way out there in the boonies. ESPT getting their line back. They've pushed beyond the warehouses now. And kind of, you can see a big OP spot for IR. But they're getting flanked on that south side. IS-1 just got hit and that's a, that's a hole. It's a tiger. He's backing up. Can it be in time? He's holding. Nope. There he goes, Mikey! Jones. Finishing him off! IS-1 getting a little bit aggressive. We've seen that time and time again, and, and uh, they just finally caught one of these IS-1s. Kind of a tiger got his toes situation. See OP spawns for IR, but ESPT has just been right up in their face. They lost a lot of space. In fact, all their OPs are gone, but they do got guys on the back side, Brazilian noob, as well as Fear Not. And they may be looking for a chance to try to uh try to get something set up on the back side. Fear not pushing in commander. ATA 2K against Fear Not. He knows he's there now. Fear not doing the little bunny hop. Try to escape. <laughs> Sometimes it's all you got. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Try I mean, to throw him off whatever way you can. 
You still got that spotted. prone dive. Down goes oh, Spearnaut. Spear no OP for him dive. either. No OP. He had an OP up there next to Aples. Here's what's really interesting. Brazilian new, by the way, Vanguarda guys, kind of been a new development. A few Vanguarda guys been playing with ESPT lately. Noob has gone in, and he can see this IS-1 as well as this AT gone. Set up. Not sure where the garrison is at on the point for, for IR, but he's going to sneak in a little bit. Gets him. Right up. Right. He sees the garrison now. So Noob's going to be able to get this garrison, it looks like. Still about 31 minutes to play. IR's got some time, but with the amount of infantry in the line that ESPT is holding, it's going to be very tough for them. And Noob is surely spotting this tank here. Noob getting long. But down he goes to 8D. ESPT, you know, you know, the, the 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 question is for you guys, you know, for especially like for, for twin, I would I would say, you know, with, with 30 minutes left, you know, what what do you think you're what Inchon is telling his guys? You think think just reestablishing their line, you think they're gonna you know, is he telling them, hey, let's push through, see if we can get any type of cap pressure on fourth point. What's your what's your what are your thoughts? I, I think cap pressure on the fourth point right now is solid, but if you got guys standing back let the enemy come to you you know you use your abilities as an excellent shooter i mean they have to push in to win so let them yeah. come to you but i think pressure on the fourth point is important well they got the hard point right you know the 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 soviets their side the, the germans have these warehouses that they can fight out of and it ir has to cross the fields very brutal very tough a lot of open space in this map, but there's yeah. also a lot of stuff to hide behind. ESPT pushing their line out beyond the warehouses. They're going to push open field. It's oh, gets they are. one. Yeah, that's a. Uh... Oh, oh, two goes down. I believe their OP is out here in the yeah. OP is out it's in up, the middle of the field. Rupert. Oh, no, they're there. They're back. Just saw shots. Almost looked like a tank hit. Tank, nope. Tank's been deflected on. He's gonna roll out. Gets hit. Oof. Gets hit by the tiger. He's gonna roll out. Jim W. Try to get one on the fly, but can't get it to go. Hitman Alex pushing for down oh, with the IS oh, That was a great shot. Beautiful it shot won't. through the buildings. I mean, you look. You look at this, yeah. the angle he had to hit him at, absolutely stunning. IS-1's now starting to get hit. ESPT starting to take the armor game. And just like that, Hitman Alex and KO. Down goes KO to an OP spawn. Hitman Alex using his pistol, gets one. B goes down, 1200. Sniper aficionado, first time playing with ESBT in a tournament match. Former yeah, broken arrow another. sniper. Hey, there's still an OP up. I killed three of them off it again. And they're talking, K 1200, talking to KO, telling them there's an OP up ahead. He's killed three off. He's kind of holding beautiful teamwork. Oh my gosh, oh, already. Already. already taking out 1200. KO, Poyo goes down. But the tiger now, with the with the IS one going down, he's pushed up, but he just got deflected on. Can't see the IS one from here, but the IS one can clearly see him. Yeah, you can see it out in the distance. Oh my gosh, two tanks got pushed. There's an IS. There are two IS ones. AT shots around him as well. Oh my goodness. Sees him. Gets one hit. Oh man. They traded. Trap shot. Did he get back in time? He dies. I just want to try to push the angle. Oh, man. We'll see how he pushes this 
says he tried to push up. No way. The IS. I don't went know down. what just got him. Could it be the uh it, does ESPT have a AT gun still up on that hillside? No. Not a workable one. I believe it was a precision strike actually. Oh my goodness. Took out both! Took out both! Unbelievable! <laughs> So we saw Inchon miss earlier pretty badly on an IS-1. Redeems himself with a double, double IS-1 precision. First time I've ever seen that. First time I've seen a duo yeah. get taken out. Unbelievable. I don't know if you guys ever seen that before. No. I have with a satchel, but not a precision. Oh yep, my gosh. With a satchel for sure. So, <laughs> so the OP goes, KO's still up. Oh. No, he's not. Obliterated. So no longer spawning off of that one. And Suka is going to make his last, last life count here. Oh, man. They D rockets just flying. Here he they just... come. Oh, he's boy. Through through the oh, boy. Hey, he's breaking through the fence. Boy goes down. Oh, oh ah! my God. That was amazing. Flies up in the air and it just gets obliterated. All right, you took two with him. I, I, that's a success. You know, around the 25 to 30 minute mark for me, you know, whenever what, casting is when I when I start looking at it and saying, you know, if it's a if it's three to two, the attacking team needs to get something happening. And right now I'm not seeing it for IR. But what else are you going to do? You know, you see a little bit of pressure up on that north side. And I think that's the push for IR. You know, they try to get something up on that back side on train station. We saw it earlier, but the, the unfortunate part ESPT has just done a beautiful job of putting their garrisons around for proc. They got a flare. They know where the guys are coming up on that northeast side. But it's just, you know, I don't know about you guys, but for a defense, this is absolutely beautiful to watch. I mean, four corners can know exactly where the guys are coming in from. Yep. OP splitting the difference, one on the point. They got guys holding warehouse because that's where a lot of the push has been coming in. And then the ESPT holding that west side of brewery really well you know they haven't been able to ir has not been able to push out of their their friendly sector in quite some time and with 25 minutes to, to go this is go time go time to try to get something else because once it hits that 15 mark, minute mark it's desperation time it's, it's it's really is desperation time with with with, with nothing set off Gary is lighting up on that southeast side, though. Let's take a look here. Oh my god, gosh. Down it goes, got the garrison. And with 24 minutes left. Get down hit, man. 1200, get 1200. 1200, just an absolute savage with a sniper rifle. There's a reason why he got recruited to ESPT. Down he goes. There he goes. They still got an OP there. What's really interesting here, ESPT building up barbed wire. I believe it's ESPT building up the barbed wire here. Gonna try to channel guys in. B goes down to nothing too bouncy. Asuka going down as well. Already getting hit, man, Alex. It may have taken out an OP as well. I'm not sure. I saw I saw the, the, the glimpses of an OP going out, so I'm not sure what would have taken it out. I oh think nothing. Goodness. What am I hearing? Puma. Kinda yeah. Get a little stuck there. Satchel. <laughs> Hurt the tank a little bit. Double satchel. Or is that already? That's already. Yeah. Second one was. First one, that satchel actually hurt the tiger. And if you're joining us just now, three to two currently for IR in this HCA quarterfinals and HCA majors. This is single elimination, guys. So if IR loses here, they are eliminated from HCA. So. And whoever wins this match will go and play the winners of Greyhounds versus WTH, two of the best European teams out there. Greyhounds, obviously, uh, you know, they were undefeated going into the semifinals and seasonals, got eliminated by ESBT. 
Um, and then I and WTH winners of seasonals. So two of the top teams in the world are going to be playing. So whoever wins this match is going to be playing a top team. But IR and ESPT are right up there with them. ESPT and Seasonals got a uh, runner-up. And then IR got semifinalists in Seasonals. So literally, you know, between those four teams, you literally have the top four teams in the world. Top four teams in the world. So, I mean, you, you know, whoever wins it, it's going to be, a, you know, going to be a grind fest in the next one. ESPT pulling out a duo PZ4. Really interesting here. They're trying to get tanks up onto the onto the point here. Well, it looks like IR actually got a hold of the warehouses. Yeah, absolutely. They're they working. Got, they're absolutely they're working. There. And the ESPT is responding. No garrison now on the northeast side. Oh, wait. It's getting oh, one. It's two. Oh, no. But two of them. Goes. Butters with the mop up. IR has been continually fighting over these warehouses, but just not not been able to capitalize. They've taken out garrisons multiple times up on these warehouses, just not able to capitalize. Big spawn way. Oh yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a good thing. The question is, can they spread out and secure them warehouses before ESPT gets into it? Trying Oasis. to get shots, two stuff with out. red yeah. laying down the hay. Oasis and Jaeger about to get into conflict. Down goes no Jaeger, but Oasis goes no. down as well. And the problem for IR is you cannot push out to the west side of the warehouses. ESPT doing a great job of suppressing from the bridges and getting good flares to, to find these infantry. They're about to box IR in here. Another spot wave off the OP. Yeah, ESPT's on both sides of them, though. Yeah, yeah absolutely pinching them. And a lock snap coming down Main Street. You see here, ESPT just barely holding in there. There is a shot on the locks by IR. He's gonna get out and repair literally at the intersection. Oh no. Second shot on the locks. Oh no. But he used his second shot. DK trying to stay alive as they repair. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, he's gonna frag. Can he get the infantry? That would be huge. One goes one back in. Get one. one! He got one. Nice play. One. One got back in, and they repped some. Definitely got the engine back up to their shift in four. That grenade would have went off one second earlier. That lux would have been a sit and duck. Yeah, he would have been. A, it would have been a, a solo. Mm -hmm. Now he's rushing back into safety. 18 minutes left, ESPT turtling back a little bit. Probably for good reason too, IR giving him a little bit of a scare up in those warehouses. It was definitely a little bit of a scary moment for, for ESPT. They are now collapsing. IR getting a little bit aggressive with the medium here. He's gonna push out here. And if there's one thing we know about Chinese teams is you can always count on a very coordinated, big push at the very end. Oh my goodness, medium. Oh, may get it, it may encounter this Lux here. But they're rushing around each other here. Medium taking out the OP. I didn't just got oh my another gosh, OP. Gets hit on the rear. Deflection up the front. Down it goes. IS-1 on the backside. 
U.S. Ranger, take it down, B. He take down that medium too. A uh, medium is still up. He is hurting, but he's still up. I mean, he, he literally has his turret up on the six. He may have just taken out a garrison. We'll take a look here. No, nope, garrison is still up. Did not take out the garrison. You can see it right there. He drove right past it. Like Twin City said, they, you got to condemn tankers. They as much pressure is on them you're you know you're trying to live through that at you're trying to live through tanks oh my gosh he's getting on the rear takes out the crewmate on it's the so tiger stressful. Get the tiger oh and he the got medium. the tiger i are making it well count played. but that uh, and goes then he the goes Viking. down quick karma hey i will take out trade any beautiful day. trade beautiful trade for yeah. ir Medium for a heavy any day and mikey former broken arrow Guy now playing for ESPT, joining his former compatriot from Broken Arrow, 1200. And right now, this medium is soloing up on the point. We have cap progress in favor of ESPT on Brewery. Just one guy on the hard point. Backline garrison, 15 minutes left. Quarter capped. Brazilian new Vanguard's finest as a spotter holding shit down. Sorry for the language. <laughs> I thought we were adults here. We are. I try not to curse. I really do. But like. Hey, I caught myself earlier. Got up to half cap. Still capping. A lot of it. Soft cap pressure. Brazilian holding yeah, it down. No. Take down PK. 15 minutes left. Still getting that cap Spotter going. on spotter. Mono e mano. Sigue leader. That, that, can he get him? Still cap progress in favor. Pass half cap. Now Renadero, another Vanguard boy. Absolute savage. Cap progress back in favor. Down. Brazilian goes down. But still cap progress in favor. Three quarter cap. Can the SPT finish it off? Granite Darrow getting one pain gap. Only one left. ESPT converging on this soft cap. This is incredible for ESPT. That's a big push. Big push from ESPT. Big spawn wave south. They have identified it. Already has identified it. And, and that's going to be a cap for ESPT. 13 minutes to go. And they're gonna make that four to one now. Big swan wave on the point. They're gonna get cut progress back, but ESPT is gonna push this back in. And just like that, Mikhail calling for the 5 0. ESPT taken probably an hour to go and cap that fourth point, but they finally do it on the back side. Shout out to Brazilian Noob leading the charge. And ESPT identifying that they need to take this southern hat building. Mikey and 1200 working. Katushka strike coming in. We got guys in the point. Brazilian Noob and freezing Taz. But unfortunately, they've deployed on the HQ already. They're not going to start the cap progress just yet. In fact, they just got eliminated too. They're going to Katushka their own boy. I mean, this is a little bit too late for IR, unfortunately. Big squad wave, but the garrison is locked. Just, they're locking it from inside the house. Down goes Rivers. Oh, uh, Gary clear. And they just cleared the garrison for ESPT. A beautiful reset. We're going to go ahead and look at the map real quick. I mean, you, look at this line. Absolutely beautiful. It is. They're going to try to get a garrison down southwest of Brewery. Tanks are now pushing. So they don't have tanks up yet into the fight. 
But we just saw an explosion. Not sure what that was. We're going to take a look here. AT gun. So finally taking out that AT gun on the point. I are desperately pushing out, but they get they are getting cap progress in the soft cap. But ESPT just so close. So many people shift W trying to get ESPT trying to get set up, trying to get all their garrisons up. Yeah. At sixteenth hour trying to get that push back before they can do it. Es ESPT kind of flickering on brewery as IR is continuing the push, but with 11 minutes to go back on their first point, man, not a whole lot of hope for IR and their chances of staying alive in this HCA tournament. Really slim right now, really dim. I've seen, I've seen scare, I've seen, I've seen crazier, but. Right now, IR in a really tough spot because they'll have to take brewery. And they'll have to take train station as well. Now, theoretically, you have eight minutes to cap two points. Well, six minutes. Shocker Zulu going down. Crims, new to ESPT, former TL and, and Syndicate player. MG set up on top of the house. Yeah, you, you can see looking. here. Three MGs. Four, four. Four, four, MGs. four MGs. Someone give me a clip and a screenshot. <laughs> MG heaven right there in those houses. Absolutely. Not even on the hard point either. Grandiero. I mean, you can see IR pushing on a lot of guys, but they're just getting absolutely suppressed. Yeah, we're talking about MGs. Striker it's said, striker do you think we have enough MGs in that <laughs> building? <laughs> I vote no. You can never have enough MGs I mean, in it's kind of cool to watch, right? It's kind of cool. I'm going to go back a little bit. I hate, I hate to focus on something for so long, but it's just absolutely beautiful, you know? You can never have enough MGs up in a house. And you can see here that the IR desperately pushing from this building, but, I mean, where else are you going to push from? ESPT pushing Volga. They are not content with this 4-1. Trying to go no. for the 5-0. <laughs> and IR may take the bait here. I mean, with, with nine minutes left, you know, holding first point, not your not really your concern. It's about taking third. And right now, KO taking an important building up on the southwest side. IR is going to do a spawn wave, multiple spawn waves up on Volga. Volga, but ESPT taking the south. We get a little bit of a bird's eye view here. And they're taking out guys on Volga. Multiple Just guys. Wrapping, up. Up. wrapping it up. They're not content like you said. They're, they're really wanting that 5-0 right now. By the way, XL responding in the chat. No, we need 10 more to avenge our MG deaths. <laughs> Shout out to XL. He's a a guy who's been on the dog stand and in half uh, in the uh, in half streams multiple times for APL previews and recaps. Very nice guy. He's also a caster as well. PZ4 launching shots on the IS1. Try to get a little bit of revenge for that medium kill on the Tiger. Gets a good hit. But he returns the favor. Backing up. IR having to respond. They pulled back a lot of guys. And now ESPT is surrounding it. You can see the line that ESPT has right now. It's just absolutely brutal. Actually, two, point, two tanks, not just one. Three, no, two tanks. One's a medium and then one's a heavy. 
Takes out the PZ4. PZ4 just went down. Katushka coming in dangerously close. Just a broken arrow type moment. And with six minutes left to go, I think at the four minute mark is when it when it's a GG. So about two minutes to go try to take brewery. And that's with immediate cap progress on train station after that. I mean, it, it, it is looking bleak for IR. I hate to say never say never, but. I mean, it's just not looking good. No, they gotta play as aggressive as they can right now. I are just not able to push out right now. ESPT doing an incredible job of suppressing these buildings. And ESPT doing a great job of taking that building as well when IR wasn't looking. I mean, at this point, I would, I would, I would, well, I was gonna say Chang's needs a shift W, but we may see a Tiger. Engage a medium. Certainly he saw the flash. He's just gonna wait for him. Patiently wait. Sure enough. Gets a shot on the heavy. Deflection on the tiger. And the tiger has him boxed in. Five minutes to go. ESBT looking. See if they can get a 5-0 here with a little bit of time remaining. Not letting them push out at all. I are currently holding the north side of the point in that building complex, but there's literally a tiger over watching. There's now two tigers, actually. They pushed up two tigers, one into Brewery, and then one to the southwest side of Volga Banks. Where infantry for ESPT is pushing again. Four, we've got about 30 seconds left before it's a tall, it's an absolute GG. Already raining shots on ESPT rushing into the south side. Really close to the tiger as well, but ain't gonna do nothing. Really just counting down the seconds. IR as a GG and that will do it that is a win for ESPT it is done so with that I mean maybe they cap 5-0 but regardless uh, at the very minimum it's gonna be a 4-1 win they tried the, the precision the, the tiger but didn't get the kill they made precision into it Close, but no cigar, but he gets hit in the process. But like I was saying, that's going to do it. IR is going to be eliminated from HCA. Down goes the IS-1. Says a little bit of, a uh, little bit of, uh, you know, uh, uh, icing on the cake for, for the expression. But get with, those hit points. Yeah, get, get those, get that combat effectiveness, am I right? And right now, ESPT shift Wing into the south side of the point. But regardless, ESPT is going to come out with the win. They will face off against the winners of WTH versus Greyhounds. I believe that match is going to be tomorrow. I'm not sure who is casting it, but regardless, that is going to be tomorrow. So next week, be watching out for whoever ESPT plays. They will win their first matchup, the quarterfinals of HCA, of HCA Majors. Great match for ESPT that's, that was that was uh, exclamated by brilliant map control, great defense, and then great push by Brazilian Noob to finally get in and, and solidify the cap. We do see an airhead coming in. It, it is pure shift W at this point for ESPT. Two minutes left. They're ESPT. still burping it out. 
Yeah, they're really going after that 5 0. And we saw IR play brilliant on the tanks, but eventually got overwhelmed. Eventually just got overwhelmed, so. Yeah, ESPT did a really good job setting up those AT guns and making yeah. IR have to hunt for the AT guns and not only that, the Tigers and the AT on par. Yeah, IS is having to look over their shoulder continuously for them. Absolutely. Actually, a tiger is going to go down, by the way, I believe, to... I'm not sure... Is that? Yeah, tiger just went down right behind this other tiger. I'm not sure what took him out. You can see a light tank coming down the road for IR, but... This is officially over. If you That's enjoyed really the match, match, you know, feel free to stick around. We'll be throwing it to another uh, another uh, streamer. So please, please stick around. We love surprising an uh, unsuspecting streamer you know, with a big, big raiding party. So please, please stick around. We'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit in the post-match show. But I mean, that's going to do it for the match. Obviously, uh, this match is brought to you by the Dog Stint. Sheepdog, Twin City Shredder, and a newcomer to the show, Seagull. Please give a warm round of applause. W's in the chat for our boy Seagull for his new for his first time in the chair. And obviously Twin City Shredder. Well, always love having him on the show. He's been not only here for for multiple castings, but also for our for our watch party that we had for the APL showcase. So we love having you. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks. So Thank gonna, you. Appreciate so, it. So we're gonna go into the uh, into the pre-match show. I'm gonna get all cameras up and running. So give me one second, and we'll get it we'll get it up and running. But uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely fun to watch. And uh, I think that uh, you know when we look at it, it, it was it was a dominant showing by ESPT. Map control absolutely brilliant uh, by ESPT. You know once they capped right off the rip. Um, there was no stopping them. Absolutely no, no stopping them. So, um, you know, it was it was incredibly fun to watch, and uh, you know, lots of implications to a single elimination tournament. You know, uh, there's not a whole lot of them out there, man. Not a whole lot out there, and uh, uh, you know, IR desperately fighting the whole time. Tanks played phenomenal uh, up until probably uh, 30 minutes left in the match, but. Um, yeah, I don't know what your guys' thoughts were on the match, but Stalingrad excited. is just a tough map, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's just. Yep. I mean, holding your points, I I feel is key. Those uh those white buildings are so hard to defend or attack. You never know where someone is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Tank gameplay is huge. You know, you have to rely on your tanks. You can feel it in a match, a uh, regular pub match, if there's no tanks. You feel it. Yeah. Oh, you know, 100%. <laughs> Absolutely. It's, it's, especially since a lot of times it turns into a bolt show, too, as as, uh, as Slick <laughs> has coined it, you know. Um, absolutely. So uh, I would have loved, loved to hear what those four MGs firing all at once sounded like, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was, it was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful to yeah. watch. So. So ESPT is like we said, they're going to progress in the quarterfinals. Uh, unfortunately, IR has been eliminated from HCA majors, um, but that will do it. So uh, thank you so much for joining the Dogs Den, joining us. Uh, it was an incredibly fun match to watch. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Dogs Den will be uh, casting as well. Vanguard versus 3AC uh, in the semifinals for, for APL Division 2. Uh, with me is going to be KO for that for that stream as well. So be sure to be be watching out for that. Uh, I am Sheepdog, Twin City Shredder, Seagull. We say adieu and good night. Thank you so much for joining us. If you haven't joined our Discord, please feel free to join. You'll get notifications. And of course, if you enjoy the stream, uh, feel free if you if you feel so inclined to give us a donation to help us support uh, what we do. So uh, thank you so much for joining. We're going to be throwing it. So thank you. And uh, have a great night.